Hi, today I'm going to talk about the Adobe Acrobat Reader and whether it has the same functionality as it does on an iPhone, whether it has the same functionality on an iPad. This question was raised by a comment made on my video on YouTube about Adobe Acrobat Reader on an iPhone. So what I would say to you in the shortest and most succinct answer is yes, it does have the same functionality, if not more. Now, to install Adobe Acrobat Reader on an iPad, you simply go to the App Store, you search for Adobe Reader, and Adobe Acrobat Reader for Docs will be there. You click Get. Mine says Open because obviously mine is already installed, but you click Get, and then Get will install it onto the iPad, and then once it has installed it, Open will be there. And when you see open, click on open and it will open up. The next thing you need to do is have a play around with it. Now, one of the things that I mentioned about Adobe Acrobat on an iPhone was that it allowed you to sign documents and you can do exactly the same thing on the iPad. So if I click this document um, and scroll down, I can add a signature by simply tapping on the blue button at in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and there are three a, sh a mini menu appears there are three options comment fill and sign edit pdf now the one we want is fill and sign but before i tap that you'll notice that by the side of the edit pdf there is a white star on a blue background now what that means is if you select that option you will probably be taken to the adobe site and be required to pay a certain amount of dollars or whatever your currency is for that premium feature. There is no white star and blue on blue background next to fill and sign. And that means that this functionality is available right now on this particular app. So if I click on it, it a new menu appears under the main header menu at the top of the screen. It has a slash with an AB, a tick, a cross, a dot, a dash, a circle and a pen. Now it is the pen we're interested in. Click on the pen and it will bring up the menu, create signature, if a signature is not already there. So what I did was I clicked the minus to get rid of the signature so that I could show you how to create a signature. So when you click on create signature, there are three ways to create a signature. You can draw it using your finger and just draw in your signature. You can add an image from your photo album of your signature or you can take a picture right there and then of your signature. So my personally, I'm just going to draw in my signature. So I might do like that. That's my signature. Once you've t uh, write, written it in with your finger, click done. And it then says tap anywhere to place your signature. So if I tap here, my signature appears. And the beauty of this, a function that's available that's not available on the iPhone are the different colors. So I can make it red. If I tap it again, I can make it blue. If I tap it again, I can make it black. And I can also delete it. Wow, the signature's gone. How do I add it again? Will the si Do I have to keep writing the signature out? No, that's the beauty of these things. So you click back on the pen. The signature is still there. Tap on the signature and the message tap anywhere to place the signature appears again. So again, if I tap here, my signature appears. And that's one of the key things about Adobe Acrobat Reader. The functionalities it brings are really cool. Once you've done that, click done. Now, if I go back in to click on the blue pen, cancel, sorry, the blue pen and comment, I can add comments to this by simply highlighting. The first one highlights. So if I click on anywhere, oops, it's not allowing me to highlight. Tap and hold. Okay, it says at the bottom, tap, hold, and drag. Nope, that didn't work. Let's tap that again. Got my color, yep. Yep. So if I tap and hold, I think it needs actual text there because it's not, this is a picture. Let me try this on something else. Let's go back. Let's see if I've got... Uh, la, 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 la. Let's try this one. Okay. Tap. 
Okay, right, let's try it on this one. So if I tap the blue button, comment, the menu appears under the header. I want to highlight an area of this text. So if I tap, see, and hold, I can highlight a document. I can strike through text, tap and drag, and basically I cross out text. I can underline text by the third one. Oops, sorry, okay. Underline, tap and drag. Okay, that's a logo, so that's an image, so it has to be some kind of text. Okay, let's try it in here. Tap, tap again. Underline that, it's in green. I'll go for a blue here. I just wanna type in some text, whatever it is. Post there. Um, this one just allows me to write stuff. And this one allows me to erase. So you've got a lot of tools, those tools that allow you to comment from the highlighting, now there it goes again, that one didn't work. Right, from the highlighting to the crossing out of text that you don't want to appear, to the underlining of text that's key, um, to the writing of comments, they're all available. So it is more or less the same thing that you 